lot of you guys have been asking me to talk more about like do I regret going to the CIA and Welcome back everybody. How y'all doing? I feel like we have been long overdue for a life update. As you guys can tell, I'm in my car right now just because it's the quietest place that I can think of, but um, it is really, really cold without it being on. So I feel like I need to just do a quick outfit change. So I'll be right back. Got my Udi on. I feel like that's the perfect segue to talk about my favorite thing in the world, my Udi. You guys have probably seen me wear this in so many of my videos. It is honestly the perfect like little sweater ever. I wouldn't even say it's little, it's huge. It's like a giant blanket that just wants to like give you guys a hug. With that said, I would love to thank the Udi for sponsoring this portion of the video today. If you guys have not heard of the Udi before, it is the world's softest blanket with a hoodie. Wait, let me show you guys this. It also has a giant pocket and it is huge. It will fit over anything and everything. As you guys know, I have chickens now. So every single day when I run in the backyard with them to hang out, this is what I'm wearing. I never take this off when I'm at home. I don't even change out of my pajamas. I just pop this right on and this is my outfit for the day. It's so cute. As you guys can see, I have the friends one. But if you guys go on their website, you can see many, many different options. There are like garlic bread ones an avocado one there are so so many and i'm sure you're definitely going to find one that you'll love every single udi is made with an ultra soft flannel fleece and it is also made with a sherpa fleece so you're sure to be super super warm it's so soft and it's like i you don't know how many compliments the best thing was when i was in college we used to have like fire drills and when we had to just go out and whatever we were wearing i was always wearing this and you don't know how many compliments plus also i was super warm and everyone else was freezing so I feel like it's a win-win. If you guys like what you see here, I'm gonna leave a link down below and you can also use my code JenniferLee30 to get $30 off your first purchase. Trust me, you will not regret it. It is my favorite thing. You can literally ask anyone. I wear it every single day. It's honestly getting dirty now. I need to wash it. Thank you again to the Udi for sponsoring this portion of this video. Let's go on to the life update. So as probably all of you guys know, I've graduated from the CIA now, which is honestly a huge milestone. It really doesn't feel like it which is really weird because I feel like I feel like when it was literally the day of and we're all lining up and going on stage you would kind of feel it right I feel like I still didn't and it was a really small quick ceremony so I feel like you know it was just just whatever it, it kind of still feels like I'm supposed to go back to school especially since mine ended right when Christmas break was ending so all my friends were leaving as well but I don't know it just like I feel the same, but I bet tons of you guys, I, well, I've been getting tons of questions like, what are you guys doing next? Are you still opening your bakery? Are you moving? Are you going back to school? Um, so I'm just going to answer a ton of your questions. And if you guys still have more, um, just shoot me a DM and I'll let you know, or just comment it below. But I have my tea here with my super cool cup from Starbucks, by the way. Look, it like will change color with heat. So yeah, grab a snack, whatever. We're just going to have a quick chit chat right now i didn't bother to do anything any polls or anything like that i just decided kind of casually talk to you guys because i just feel like i need to talk it out as well you know so i'm back at home in connecticut and i'm kind of just figuring it out if you guys know me i've always been the type to like plan every single thing out like starting in middle school i literally had a journal or like that's yeah, a journal that i still have um and I used it and there was a page where I literally planned my step-by-step -step life for like the next 10 years, which is kind of crazy. But the part is I was following that like by accident. Like I was literally doing every single thing I said I was going to do up until now. I'm like lost now. You know what I mean? Um, I wouldn't say I'm lost. You know, the problem with myself is number one, I'm going to ramble guys, but I just feel like I have such high expectations for myself to succeed and whatever it is in life. And when I don't meet that goal, I just feel let down. Like, I feel like I'm disappointed in myself almost. And I, I know I'm not alone in this. And I know other people are also feeling this way. And I also know that other people my age are, like, they don't have it figured out yet. Which is good. It's fine. It's how it's supposed to be. But, you know, I feel like for me, maybe it's just, like, I feel like other people definitely feel this way. It's just hard, you know? Like, I feel like I should have 
like continued on with my plan and I should be doing this right now and I should have made this much money or this and I feel like there's just a lot of pressure these days especially with seeing like for me I always see like young celebrities and I feel like they're so successful and obviously I can't compare myself to them I want to be like that one day so it's not bad to like have those goals to be like that but yeah I'm kind of just in a state right now where I'm trying to calm down and relax because I can be such a workaholic and I'm just trying to like figure it out you know I'm I just full-on rambled and ignored what my own question was but um yeah so for right now I'm just chilling at home and I'm honestly working more with social media so that is another big goal that I always had was to improve on YouTube and do more um do more content creation on Instagram and YouTube I just really really love the side of that I've always loved it and I always really wanted to be like um a content creator so this is great I, I'm having tons of fun with this I love fashion and I love food too but it's just like two really different things that I'm really trying to pursue right now so yeah that's what I'd say I'm focusing on right now and I have a lot of new collabs and um campaigns that I'm working on and I'm really excited to show you guys because I'm proud of myself I feel like I am moving in the right direction right now um as for am I like where am I working I'm technically not working anywhere I'm working remotely I guess from my home just doing things for YouTube and Instagram but um yeah I would love to get back in a bakery and work but if I'm gonna be honest I feel like one thing that no one talks about a lot is I just feel like a lot of people you see talk about culinary school just talk about like the highs of everything how much they love like how much they love cooking and how much of like a foodie they are and how much they love the long hours and the stress and yeah I like the stress sometimes but let's be real no one truly enjoys working 12 hours 10 12 hours a day in a kitchen where you're hot you're sweaty you're physically tired you're burnt out and you're, you just want to like take a break like no one loves that and I just feel like that's not talked about enough because if we're gonna be honest I'm lazy right now I don't want to get back into that which sounds so bad because it almost makes me feel like did I make a mistake going to the CIA and getting a degree did I waste my time did I waste my money and I feel like that is the question that a lot of us are asking ourselves right now and I know I'm not alone in that it's like I'm in a zone right now where I've worked everywhere that I possibly would be interested in working in my hometown. I'm not ready to move yet. I just, I enjoy living for free at home if I'm going to be frank. It's nice. I don't have to stress out about a lot of things. I'm not in a hurry to move. Do I want to move to a bigger city? I definitely do. That's like, that's just where I feel like I'd be at my happiest. And if I'm not when I get there, I'll go somewhere else. You know, it's like, it's not that deep. I can move. I don't know why everyone like feels like every single life decision they make is so permanent I feel like I used to think that and I'm starting to grow out of that a little bit but like yeah if I move to New York City and I hate it I can move somewhere else you know what I mean I've got lost again um but yeah so that's kind of where I am with am I going to work on another bakery and as long as a lot of you guys know I had my own bakery will have I and during quarantine in literally April of 2020, I started my own bakery called Jaylee Bakery. I'll put the Instagram right here if you guys want to follow it. It used to just be my baking account where you guys could like follow along on my baking stuff. And then I completely converted it to like a bakery. So that summer I had so much fun. I just sold every like I focus on French macaroons, um, cupcakes and cakes. And I had so much fun learning how to run a business and a lot of people ask me a lot of questions about how I started that I would love to make a like a whole video discussing how I started that I feel like that could help a lot of people if you're interested in doing that yourselves I personally like humbly I can humbly say I think I succeeded a lot with that you know because I know a lot of people they like sell things I kept track of like as best as I could like electric bills and like gas money and like I every single product like inventory and the cost of everything the cost to sell the cost to make um I even thought about like what it would be if I paid myself so like labor costs and everything like that and I made a good profit and it was fun and I still want to do it but if I'm going to be honest the only reason why I'm not is because my parents don't want me to and I know that sounds really stupid and they're not like controlling or whatever it's just they feel that I need more real world experience and I'm sure if you guys have done this probably your parents have told you that too and not that I'm gonna like I feel like I need to like rebel and not do that I do agree with them 
do I like that answer? Definitely not because like I said, I'm feeling lazy right now and I don't want to go work, which sucks. I feel like most of you guys, because I think I'm going to put this in the title now, um, are going to come for this part. And this is totally, I guess, kind of just like a spontaneous thing. I didn't plan on doing this. But I'm going to tell you guys, did I think my CIA ex experience was worth it? As most of you guys know, I have never been like the biggest fan of my school. I'm not like a rah, rah, CIA which is, I feel like a lot of people are like that. I swear it's like a cult, guys. It's so weird. But I know I'm going to get a lot of hate comments saying like, oh, this is the realities of life, this and that. And yes, I agree with you. But it's just like, I, everyone likes to complain about their own school, you know what I mean? So it's like, can you just let me vent for a sec, please? Like, not in a mean way. First off, I just want to get out there. I don't want to bash a school. My point in telling my side of the story is not to cause any drama or to scare you guys or to, like, say anything negative about the school. Clearly, I graduated and I liked it enough to stay. And I like it enough to make videos about it, which somewhat promotes the school. Today, I think I'm just going to strictly talk about, like, do I regret it? Because a lot of people always ask me that. I don't regret it, but I also don't love I didn't love my time there so many people come up to me and they're they'll say like do you regret going to the CIA and my answer is always I don't know because it's not just a yes or no question to me I definitely don't re regret going because it definitely like 100% taught me skills that I wouldn't have chosen to learn myself if I were to just go the self-taught route because there are a lot of things that I already knew before I went to the school and obviously going to the school helped me improve those skills because like of the repetition and everything but there's a side and there's like a set amount of things and like techniques and um styles that I wouldn't have ever wanted to learn so I probably wouldn't have taught myself and I do feel like I'm very like I I feel like I can step into any kitchen now and even if I don't know anything I can learn and I can feel confident in it So I feel completely confident going working at a high-end place working at a mom-and-pop type of shop Like I feel good about that and if I didn't go to the school I feel like I wouldn't be as confident because I wouldn't have have had learned so many skills So in that sense, I don't regret it at all The things that I don't love and I'm sure everyone has this about their school. It's just like the I would honestly say it's just the vibe of the school. It's a very clicky school it, in a sense that like you have your people that love the school and are full on like all they talk about is food. Like no offense, but do you do anything else? You know what I mean? Like I like I know some people were like the only TV shows they'll watch are the Food Network. The only things they'll talk about is their favorite type of cheese. Their things that they like to brag about to other people are how much like they like to one up your skills. And they're like, oh, you made cheesecake last night. Well, I made it two nights ago and I made it like this technique instead. And they're like, oh, like, you know what I mean? Like, why is that your only topic of interest or your only topic like at all? You know, you don't talk about anything else. I think that's my biggest problem. So it's really not about the school. It's kind of about the people. But the school just attracts those people. No offense to those people. Like, you're fine. It's just like... I don't vibe with you and that's fine and I feel like we need to be okay with that um because not everyone gets along and that is okay but I have met my like select group of best friends that I love and I didn't think I'd love so much as much as I do and I love you guys you guys know who you are oh maybe I'll put a cutesy compilation right here above my face of them but um yeah I yeah I don't, I don't I've, I've been rambling guys we I need I need to like write what I'm gonna say down it's a school that I would say is under a lot of pressure from, like, social media. Because, obviously, culinary schools are not that common. And being the, like, world's best culinary school, this is the one that's constantly talked about. And they like to keep their image pretty and nice and pristine, obviously, like every other college. But sometimes I feel like they're just, like, they take it a little too far. And it almost comes across as, like... Just like in a just in a negative way, you know what I mean. And these are things I wish I could just say before, but honestly, I was just a little bit nervous, um, just because like, again, it's nothing against the school, and I just feel like, like I, everyone has to realize everyone thinks this about their school. It's not just this school, but so it's like you're gonna feel this no matter what. It's just it's just different things because it's such a it's such a unique school, you know what I mean. And I would love to talk about this more in a more planned, organized way. So I might make another video about that. If you guys want it, please comment it down below and like this video. Anyways, um, 
I don't want to go on anymore. I'm sorry if this video was a little bit boring, but um, I just wanted to talk to you guys. You know, I feel like that's not boring because you guys always ask me these questions, so I just thought I'd say it all out in the open. Um, yeah, and I love you guys. I will bring you guys more videos soon. Um, and yeah, hopefully everything improves. I hope to see you every single week, probably on Wednesdays, but honestly, whatever day I feel like uploading. And I know I said this a million times, but I do love you guys. Okay, bye for real. Thanks again to the Udi for sponsoring a portion of today's video.